Along the same lines as the 2x2 I posted a few days ago, this is an automated horse poop farm. It accommodates eight horses operating on a single solar panel with a single battery or two batteries if you want the heating and lighting. Alternatively, without the heating and lighting, a fully charged large battery should last for an entire wipe, eliminating the need for a solar panel. The hopper collects the dung every 20 minutes for five seconds, enabling us to utilize the solar panel to power both lighting and heating. We'll start by putting the foundation down as though we've got honeycomb. So that's uh, four squares and surround that by triangles. I'm building this right next to ranch for ease of getting horses. So we'll put in a door and then we'll put walls all around the outside. Put triangle roofs in. We'll put half walls on the top of these. And then above these we put the square floors, four of them. Put a wall in here. And then we put our tall cabinet in. And then a window. Right, now we're going to upgrade all this. So we do the floor first. And then we'll go around and do all the walls. Put a door on to secure it. Ah, need to demolish this because we're not going to be able to get to upgrade this otherwise, and we'll put the window back in. We're going to have to jump up to do these bits. Then we're going to put the triangles in top here. This is going to be for putting our extra boxes on. And then some wall frames just on either side here. Now we need to put in some steps. This is for the horses to go up. We'll leave it as twigs so we can get rid of it later. And before I forget, we'll put the lock on the TC as well. It's important. All right, what we're going to do now is put the troughs in. They're going to be set slightly back from the square foundation. And we should be able to put one in next to each other. And we'll do the same on the other side. Right, now we're going to put the composter in. So we're just going to get that in there. And then the workbench, which we're going to put in just here. Uh, and then we're going to top up the tool cabinet and then put a window on this. And I've just spotted the foundation underneath the TC needs upgrading. So we'll just go and quickly go around and do this. Be able to... All right, so that's it done. Now we're going to look at getting the horses. All right, so this is the first one we got back. Getting a bit late in the day, but we get off just outside the door, open the door, and then we'll lead it in until it clears the triangle roofs. Close the door, get on top of it. and then position it in front of the trough. 
That's the first one done. Right, let's just skip forward. So we're now putting our last horse in here. So I normally put it into this spot. You'd also want to fill up the troughs with either potatoes or now bread, which I believe is a better option. Now we're going to seal this in by putting a wall along with a door and upgrade these. Now you can get a horse in through this gap should these horses die. It's just a little bit more difficult. So let's just put our door down. Let's make a start on the electrics. This includes both the timer for the hopper and the lights with heating. So the components for this are one solar panel, two small batteries, five electrical branches, one blocker, one memory cell, two timers, two seeding lights, two electrical heaters, one digital clock and one hopper. Let's make a start by putting the solar panel on the roof. So we're gonna make some uh, twig foundations to get up there. And we're going to face the solar panel to the north. And then connect that up. branch that it's going to connect to. Now we're going to leave this branch with two power because two is all we should really need to power the battery for the hopper. We'll just put our components we're going to need for the rest of the next part of this. So we'll put down our battery for the hopper. Then we're going to connect it to the left hand side, we'll change the colour to orange. That's on the input. I'll put down our second battery, this is going to be for the lighting and heating, but we'll come to that in a second. But we'll connect that up to our branch. Actually we're tidy the wiring up slightly, we're running along the skirting board. Right, so now we're going to do the circuit for the hopper so we put in two branches above that we're going to put in a timer and another timer and then between that we're going to put in our blocker and then a branch above the first timer and now we're going to set the settings for each of the branches so the first one says a two the next one is one and the one above that is changed to one and the whole of this circuit could be powered by a fully charged battery uh, which will last you an entire wipe. But for this one, we're going to use two small batteries and a solar panel. So we're going to change this to orange, put it to the output and put it to our first part of our hopper circuit. And for the right hand side, we're going to go straight into the next branch. And then from the right hand side of this branch, we're going to go across to the second timer. And then the output of this goes to the hopper, but we'll put that in in a second. Oh, oops. Right, so that I need to change that to 5. This one we need to change to 900. So that'll be quarter of an hour. So this one then will flick on for 5 seconds to uh, clear the hopper. Alright, so now we're going to go for this part. So we're going to change this to purple. And connect this into the first timer. And then from the top of this timer, we go straight into the branch above. Right, from the right hand side of here, we take this uh, out and along and we put it into the toggle of the second timer. And then from the left hand side, we'll change that to green. We take that down to the toggle on, toggle on the blocker. Get a bit closer to make it nice and tidy. Right, now from the left hand side of this branch, we change that to yellow. We then go up to the blocker. And then the output of the blocker we put into the toggle on the timer. And that will deal with uh, 
so if the server restarts it will restart it as well so that will now turn the hopper on for five seconds every 15 minutes so now we're going to move on to the lighting which we're going to have timed so we'll just move everything we need down to our taskbar right so we need one branch and then a digital clock then we're going to put in a memory cell Right, so we'll change this to red and put this straight into the bottom of the branch. We're going to leave that at two. It's in the right hand side. We're going to take that up and go into the memory cell. Now we're going to check which which is which, which one's got the power coming out of on the uh, memory switch. And keep that in mind. And then we're going to take the left hand side and go up to the digital clock. And the output of the digital clock, we're going to put down and put into our toggle. Alright, now we're going to uh, edit this. We're going to put in 9 o'clock for the first one. Then 1900 or 7 p.m. for the second one. And we need to remove this one. Right, now make sure it's, both of these are ticked. And then we're going to turn off the audio and then click save. Right, so now we're going to put in our heaters and lights. We'll put a heater in here and then a heater above the door. And our two lights we're going to place just up here. And then looking at this, because it's daytime, you want to put it with the one that has zero energy coming out of it. If it was night time, obviously you connect the one with the power, so it turns them on. So we power in and pass through for each one of these. And then the same with the heater. Just close the door. Right, now we put the box in with the hopper. We put that in the middle of the room with the hopper on top of it. And then we're going to connect the hopper to the second timer. So we'll take the power out of the second timer. And feed it along to the hopper. Now we now just disconnect this or just activate this it will stand for five seconds which is just enough time to grab all the horse dung and that's it so far now all we have to do is put the boxes on the ceiling which I should have done before I put the horses in and also uh, a locker and a, a bag so we'll make a start on that now Right, we do need first off to get rid of some of the twig that's outside, so we'll equip a hammer and uh, so that'll be the steps which we don't need unless we get fresh horses in. And now we're going to try and put the boxes up there. Let's have a go. I'm going to try not to cuss too much. Right, this is going to be quite boring, so I'm going to skip through this bit. Ah, oh, that's a good job I did skip, because there was a lot of cussing then. Right, so, put the locker in here, two boxes under here. So the moral of the story is, put those boxes at the top before you get the horses in. And then just the sleeping bag. And that is it. So we'll just go outside. 
and that's it thank you for watching if you could like and subscribe that'd be brilliant it really helps me out and uh, thank you for again thank you for watching there is a link to the electrics diagram in the description that's to rustrition